video editing isn't just my job. It's an unhealthy obsession. I basically live inside Premiere. All day, every day. I know, sounds crazy, but it's all under control. Now, you already noticed that things are changing in the world of video editing. AI is doing more than just writing scripts and generating art. It's coming for creative jobs. For example, video editors who are paid to remove bad takes, these people can be replaced easily. And I know it sounds scary. Now, last week, the CEO of a new tool called Eddy AI reached out. He used to be a filmmaker, got tired of how much time the rough cut actually took and decided to build something. Imagine a tool that can look at your footage and actually understand it, organize it, find your best takes and give you feedback on the edit. Almost like having an editing assistant right next to you. Well, I got to play around with it and today I'll show you how it works. Right, so here I have Premiere and here I have Eddy AI, my editing assistant. I actually have it on my second monitor usually, but first of all, I want to make sure I have the extension opened up. It's sort of like a bridge between Premiere and Eddy, it connects them. Okay, on the left, you'll see all your past projects or you can create a new one. Let's do that. Now Eddie gives you a few options here. Let's go with the first one. Shed and edit. On the right you can upload raw files or you can connect it directly to Premiere. If you have a multicam sequence you can import that as well. Let's import from Premiere. And as you can see, here are all my bins I created in Premiere. So I want to import my raw studio recording. Let's click it and then choose add. All right, once you hit import, Eddie automatically creates a low resolution proxy version of my footage. So imports are faster and smoother. In the meantime, let me rename my project to Premiere Basics Welcome Tutorial or something. By the way, if you don't do this, Eddie will do that automatically for you. When it's done, I get a project summary. It's like the AI already watched my footage. It shows the main topics, key speakers and context before I even touch the timeline. Now, this is cool. You can actually chat with your footage. For example, find all the takes where I say welcome to Premiere Basics and within seconds Eddie finds and compiles them. Here you can see all my attempts and let's say I only want to keep the third take. Just type in keep the third take and there you go. Welcome to Premiere Basics a YouTube channel about video editing and so much more. Now every version of your edit gets saved by the way, so you can always jump back to an older cut if you want. You can also use the text-based editor by clicking edit and now you can split, tweak the pacing or simply delete the selection. It's that simple. If you've ever done long interviews or talking head videos, you know that this is a game changer. You can even tell it things like make a 30 second short from the best takes, let it do its thing and there you go. Remember, this is coming from a raw video recording. Now when you're done, hit the export button and choose Premiere. That will of course send it back to Premiere. Let me minimize Eddie for a second. It creates a brand new sequence using your original files. No duplicating or relinking mess. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and don't mind my hair. I, I don't know what's, what, what, what went wrong today. Anyway, before I want to show you the other tools, I want to thank Eddie AI so much for sponsoring this video. With the link down below, you can try it out completely for free. More information in the description. Anyway, the next feature I want to show you is clean up and script it. This one's designed for videos where you already have a script. That's very useful for creators like me because I'm not a native speaker. It's pretty cool on plot flams. Yeah. All right, so in Premiere, I have a new bin called scripted with my recording. Then in Eddy, I paste that script and let it do its thing. Eddy will now build a rough cut that matches my narration. There you go. This took a few minutes, but here's a rough cut. I just checked it out and I gotta say it's not perfect. It left a few awkward pauses and repeated lines, but it got me about 70%. This saved me a lot of time. And of course, you can use the text-based editor to edit your video manually, but there's not much that needs to be changed here. Now, let's send it to Premiere again and see how that goes. All right, so here we are. As usual, Premiere's audio waveforms aren't loading. I can't believe Premiere still has this issue. Do you guys still have this a lot? Let me know down below. Anyway, I just played it back and it looks perfect. I love it. Okay, so now to make rough cuts, you can also use the shed and edit mode again. Let's import my recording from Premiere. There you go. 
And when it's done, we can choose between these options again. This time choose Rough Cut Stories. It will then ask you questions and tell Eddie more about the structure of your video, the pacing you want and whatnot. Or you can simply prompt Eddie and ask it whatever you want. You can also paste your script if you have one. Now at first it added a few lines that I didn't want, so I went back and forth with a few prompts, kind of like training an intern. After some fine tuning, the result was a really solid rough cut. And that's what I liked about this, it feels collaborative. It's not replacing me, it's not replacing an editor, it's helping me move faster, like an assistant. Now every single one of you should try the feedback feature, it's completely for free, no trial, and Eddie has some other cool features as well. Now it's time to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm gonna tell you my pros and cons. Starting with the good. The integration with Premiere is insane. Importing from Premiere and exporting to Premiere feels really quick. It feels seamless. Eddie responds really fast. You don't have to wait five minutes for every tweak because that would have been a deal breaker. I also love how easy it is to jump between edits or projects and so on. All your work history is right there and it's very accessible. And lastly, the chat mode is extremely useful. We focused more on creating rough cuts today, but Eddie can do so much more than that. Now, for the bad part. Eddie made a small mistake and that was leaving in some of my brats between a few lines. This is not a huge issue because like I said, it did 70% of my work. The next limitation is that Eddie AI really shines only for talking head videos, interviews, podcasts, anything with clear dialogue. So if that is the kind of content you're editing, this tool can save you a ton of time. All that said, Eddie AI is one of the best AI assistant editors I've used. And this is what AI tools should be doing for us editors. Cutting out time consuming stuff so that so we can focus on the creative work. And that's something I've been saying for a long time. I wouldn't call it AI editing, I'd call it AI assistance. You know, a way to skip the boring part and get to the fun part faster. Again, you can try Eddie AI for free using the link in the description down below. They also gave us promo codes for 30% off for viewers of this channel. So again, definitely check out the link down below. Conclusion, Eddie AI is one of the few AI tools that actually understand what video editors need. It doesn't replace your creativity. It gives you more time to be creative. And that's exactly what it's all about. Thank you guys so much for watching.